Hi there, this is Mr. Fred from GetMeCoding.com, and in this video, we're gonna walk through using Visual Studio Code to build a simple web page. So let's just jump in and get started. Visual Studio Code, or VS Code, is free as a download from Microsoft, and I'll provide that link in the comments. And also, if you go over to GetMeCoding.com and check out the blog, you'll see more information out there regarding this particular tool. To get started, we're gonna open up a folder here, and we're gonna to navigate towards a space to set up our web space for work. In this particular setup, I've already established three folders, CSS, IMG, and JS. CSS standing for cascading style sheets, IMG for images or graphics or any kind of media, JS for JavaScript. This is a typical folder setup from a majority of websites that you might be building. I'm gonna then select my folder and that will be my workspace. When I come back in, it's gonna prompt me to say, do I trust these uh, locations? And I will trust the author since I am the author. And then over here on the left, my Explorer starts to take shape for my development environment. You can see in here now, my folders are appearing and then I would have access to whatever would be inside of those folders. I'm gonna come in here now and create a new file. Before I do, I do wanna to touch base on this one little navigational element on the left. This is known as extensions. One of the most powerful features for Visual Studio Code or VS Code is a massive set of extensions that support your work, whether it's doing traditional software programming, database work, or even web development. This community is massive. So when we start up a new file, you'll see what extensions I've currently installed, but there's so many more you can explore. So I'm gonna cl click new file, and here it's gonna wanna know what kind of file type I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna type HTML since we're building a simple web page. I hit enter and it wants to know what the name of the file is gonna be and I'll call it index.html and then I will create that file. Here I am now in the editor, a tab dedicated to that particular page is open and I can see over here on the navigation side, it's available. Now, once again, when I come in here and because I started this off as a HTML file, I could take advantage of some very cool IntelliSense features. I could start off by creating my doc type for my HTML5, and then I will begin to just carve out a web page. Now you'll see that the IntelliSense or the autocomplete starts to pop up. If I hit enter, it disappears. But if I hit and close my tag, I then get to see the closing tag or the other side of the container. I'll hit enter. I could put in my title of the page. As you can see, my typing is a little off. And then I'll come in to the body of my web page. So a number of features start to become really useful here, including the line numbering and the ability to collapse or expand code. So you can see your code easier as it starts to grow down your editor's screen there. So I'll just come in here and I will type header tag. And I'll come into paragraph, and of course we'll do the hello world. So the autocomplete features are really helpful. And as I look here at the top, I could also start to see the hierarchy of the document that I'm working on. Now, when you're ready, you can save the document and preview it. If I come up here, you'll notice that there's an indicator saying the file needs to be saved. If I go up here, file, save, or do a control S, that will save the file. The indicator is now gone. To see the file, there's a number of ways you could do it. If I come over and I right click on my file name, I could open um, a preview or a show in the browser. Now show in the browser is an extension that you can add in. So I will just select show in browser and it will generate your, um, your web page inside of the default browser. And you could see here we are with uh, this particular example. Now coming back in here, 
there are some other ways we can extend this. And we are, like I said, we are gonna build some simple CSS. This is not a full-blown tutorial on using CSS, but if I come up here, once again, go to new file, I could type CSS and I hit enter. It's gonna want you to name the file. So I'll call it mystyles.css, indicating it is a CSS file. And I'm gonna be saving it in my CSS folder. I create the file and it opens up a new tab. I could toggle back to my index.html or come over to my CSS. And then I will just come in and do some simple styling. I will open my P tag and then I can go with background color. I get a nice color picker here. We'll do some kind of aquamarine color. And now we'll come in, we'll do a file save. And we've just created a simple CSS file. So this would be an example of a linked CSS file. You have three types of CSS files. You could have linked, you could have embedded, or you can have inline. I click on the index file. I'm gonna to need to add this to the head section. Okay, so let's go ahead and now link to that style sheet that we just built. To do that, we're gonna add that to our head section. And we're gonna utilize the link tag in HTML5. And we'll add in the link to the actual file. Now, when I come in here, this hypertext reference or href, if I type in the CSS, it recognizes it's, it's the folder. And if I put that forward slash, it will then show my file that I just created, hit enter, and it'll auto complete that for me. So this way there's no misspellings, um, typos, and so on. And then I will close the tag. One of the interesting things, once again, with the code hints or the color code hints, you could see that we're getting a red color indicator, meaning something is not correct. I close that tag and of course, then it adjusts itself. I'm gonna save that file. I could do a control S, be quicker. And then I'm gonna right click on it and show in browser, or I could use the keyboard shortcuts, but I'll go show in browser and I'll drag that page right in here for you. And you can see now that it's building itself out. I right click on this and if I go to view page source, I could see my code is there and I can see that that link is established. So everything is looking pretty good. That is a real simple high level overview on how you could begin using VS Code to enter or build HTML pages or any other kind of pages using this editor.